Hello and welcome. In this session, we will talk and see the power of BPC on HANA through one of its most important and sought after feature called disaggregation. SAP HANA was released around 2010 and in past few years we have heard much about it. Primary among all is that it's extremely fast over very large amounts of data. For our demonstration, we will be using a BPC environment with more than 50 million records. This demo is built on one of the environment from TechLink Innovation Lab, and the model I will be using is for sales planning. This has the dimensionality around customers, product, and profit center, which forms the basic building blocks of sales planning. So let's start with the key feature we mentioned, the feature of disaggregation. What is disaggregation? It's the functionality which allows a user to plan at higher level node, namely a profit center or cost center, and push the plan numbers to lowest level base members. Push to base members is necessary since BPC can store only the base level members in the database. Until now, it was only possible through a custom ABAP code or some other custom development at the front end Excel. With BPC on HANA, this has become a standard out of box functionality. Let's look at it. Here, I have an input schedule which is used to plan number of cases by customer group across periods. And my requirement is to disaggregate it proportionally to all base level members. As you can see, I have some planned numbers for customer groups for 2014, and I want to change third quarter of CG2. Let's say we change it from 2.4 million to 3 million. In order to allow saving at base level, I need to disaggregate it. And this I can perform by going into planning and hitting disaggregate. It asks for confirmation followed by the methods. Let's select the proportional method and hit OK. So what were those three methods for disaggregation? The first one which we selected, the proportional, it allows to, to, to distribute the plan value to base level in the selected data region according to relative ratio of existing data. One of the use cases where proportional disaggregation makes sense is the example of budgeting, like doing a budget of 2014 based on detailed forecast of 2013. All we need to do is copying the forecast into the new category of 2014 budget and perform a proportional disaggregation on the new plan values at total level. The second option was equal. And as the name suggests, it allows to distribute the plan values to base level equally. The third option was the relative proportional. It involves the value being distributed to base level in the selected data region according to relative ratio of another data region with specified reference dimension and member. Currently, doing the relative proportional disaggregation is limited to only one reference dimension. In our current model, we have certain default logic which does the calculation on changing of plan value. It has embedded rules for calculating gross margin, cost of sales, etc. During our disaggregation, the current running disaggregation, none of it will be executed, and the reason is the fact that default logic doesn't run during disaggregation. I find this to be desirable because I can always call a package and do the same function versus writing script code to avoid default logic to be executed for every data source. There are some other considerations to be kept in mind while using disaggregation, like member formulas are not allowed to be defined for the members of dimension for disaggregation data region. Account types for member of account dimension within disaggregation data region, they should be either income or expense or asset or liability, and from security point of view, user needs to be authorized for all the base dimensions and reference dimension in case of relative proportional disaggregation. So let's go back to the input schedule where our disaggregation is running. It appears to have finished. It's the speed of BPC on HANA which allows this fast disaggregation over several thousands of records. Just to be sure and check, let's refresh the report. 
let's perform a quick drill down over customer group. You must have noticed the amazing speed with which my, num my records came back after being fetched from data source. As a quick check, I am summing up all the records, all the base level records, to see if the total sums up to 3 million, which was our planned value. This proves that our disaggregation has happened successfully. So to summarize, Disaggregation is new, powerful, and out-of-box functionality available with DPC on HANA, which will prove handy for any planning user. It's fast, it's reliable, and it's useful. Thanks for watching this demo. Please also take time to watch our other demos and talk to our experts. Thank you.